it's your boy CJ back with another video. If you have not noticed, um, yeah, I haven't been posting any videos lately. How long has it been? It's been like what, two months? It's been about two months, guys. And um, where have I been? I know you guys could tell by the videos that I've been posting before I left. Um, I'm so happy to be here where I am now. And I've been at basic training in Fort Sill, Oklahoma for two whole months, guys. Could not do nothing. So today I just came on here just to kind of uh, do a video for those people who have been thinking about going into the Army and stuff like that or everyone who like doesn't know what basic training is and stuff like that I just want to tell my experience you know to you guys so that's what you guys can look forward to in this video right and um, yeah just my personal experience because I know experiences are better than somebody telling you this is how old this is how it should be like and stuff. but especially when I just finished this shit right I just got done with basic training so it's gonna be a lot of uh, in detail stories so if you like that stuff stick around stick around until the end of this video and uh, make sure you like comment and subscribe without any further ado I'm gonna just get right into it this video is gonna be um, about what is army combat basic training like and like my overall experience so I'm not gonna try to make this video so long I'm just going to try to do like a little summary of it, but it's probably going to end up being long because of the fact that <laughs> it's just so much that we did over that um, two months. I'm going to tell you guys about basic training from like from straight from beginning, like reception. OK, I'll even tell you all about MEPS, right? So I'll go from MEPS all the way until like graduation day and to like how I made it here to AIT, which is kind of like um, the promised land. That's how we used to say it like at basic training because I'm telling y'all, man, that, that, that shit is long. That shit is long. People who want to join the army or people who are interested in the army don't know how it's going to be like and maybe basic training is the thing that's holding you back and you think it's like terrible, hard and stuff like that. I'm going to just give you a quick little summary. Um, I'm going to go in depth like on different videos like whenever i get the time to make videos i'm gonna go in depth with like different subjects and stuff so make sure you leave a comment um but i also got like a lot of topics that i'm already gonna make videos on so y'all stay tuned oh, oh, oh hey guys so i'm gonna be talking about the first week first freaking week of uh basic which is reception right so reception I would say personally, for me, it felt like a month, even though it was one week. I was there for one week, but it felt like a month. Um, I was at Fort Sill, right? We went to Vessie Hall. That's where everybody in process for everything. So that first week, all we really do is get issued our um, get issued our dark tags, our uniforms, our boots. Get your hair cut. If people have like a lot of hair and stuff like that, and they have to cut it. You get your hair cut there. It was really boring because all we really did was just, we were sitting the whole time because there's so many people, there's about like 500 people in processing to go to actual like, you know, their batteries and stuff like that. So we were there, we got issued our blue books for the first time. Our blue book is basically everything that you need to know about the army compressed in one little book. Um, and they told us to read it just to brief up uh, on like our general orders, soldier's creed, the army song like that the ranks different ranks by the way if you guys want to know about that stuff uh, let me know and I'll make a video I'll make a video about it but yeah so that was the first week we did that we got our dental we got shots oh my gosh that okay so we got yeah, we got a shot on our ass basically that hurt it hurts a lot but yeah we did that and um, basically that was the first week right basic training is normally 
it's gonna be uh, nine to ten weeks, depending on where you go. You feel me? Um, for us, it was twelve weeks because we had um, HBO like split in between there. Do you get to use your phone during reception? No, you don't. Um, do you get paid during reception? Yes. Fuck yeah, I was not gonna. I'm, I'm not gonna be there at reception without getting paid. You feel me? Like, yeah, they pay you starting from uh, right when you leave, like MEPS. That's when you start getting. That's the date that you start getting paid. I can make another video on that if y'all want to. Um, these are just some questions that I thought like some of y'all may have been like may be asking. Hey guys, my bad about the focus on some of these clips. Y'all gonna just have to stick with me throughout this. I promise y'all I'm gonna do better. But then you get a ICR, which is like a individual clothing record. So basically all the shit that you need, like all the clothes, all the gear, all the shit that you need to train, that's what reception is for. All right, next subject, right? I'm gonna talk about the second week technically. It's not, I don't think it's the second week, but it's like, for some people, it could be considered a second week, but it's actually your actual first week of basic, because that's when you're actually at your battery. So, right, you get there, um, your drill sergeants, you get to meet your drill sergeant. It's all alphabetical and stuff like that. I can make another video on that, but um, the first actual week of, um, Basic training is gonna be at your battery, and it's called shark attack. Uh, now I don't know if you guys have heard about shark attack, but um, drill sergeants are literally in your face. They're watching every single move that you make to the T. The whole purpose behind red face, which is the for your first faces, is to break you down and then build you back up, right? We was there um, hauling ass. We had all, all of our shit that was issued at um, at reception. We had them in our green duffel bags. They gave us a little presentation about how we have to meet their standards because they, they're they not gonna um, go down for for us. They're not gonna take it lightly on us work, actually in the, in the fucking army. We had a whole last to our battery. Um, we had showering drills while we had to. We had to be in the shower for like two minutes. Two minutes. <laughs> yeah. Two mi did two minutes start that when was, you got in the shower? Or did two minutes start when you got in the bathroom? The two minutes started whenever we were we at toe the you. line. <laughs> <laughs> is when our two okay. Minutes yeah, that's the same for us. Okay. Yeah, our, uh, there's a like toe the line thing in our barracks, and our two minutes started as soon as everyone got on the line, and everyone had to go inside take two minutes to be in the latrine and then come back out. They gave us a presentation about everything that was gonna go down. Um, so after that presentation, right, um, they told us to, you know, get down. We better get used to, used to the front leaning rest position. Um, if y'all don't know what a front leaning rest position is, basically you're doing a push up, right? So we got down, we, we started, as a whole team, we started doing like push-ups, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down. Um, Meredith was talking about how we only got like a couple of minutes to shower. She was at a different battery, but still at four sill, right? And I almost started crying because I had multiple drill sergeants yelling at me because I couldn't find my bag and my bag wasn't in my correct spot. So then after I got like smoked, um, I started laughing and then I got smoked again. I was so freaking nervous whenever uh, our drill sergeants came and got us from uh, Vessie Hall. That was whack. I almost cried. <laughs> I'm not even playing. Because multiple drill sergeants have already made me cry. Right. And then when we started leaving to go to our battery, my heart was in my stomach. My stomach was out of my ass. And I had shin splints. You had shin splints? Yeah, I did. Oh, shit. Is that was day so, zero for you? That was day zero. Day zero, I guess. Those are going to be like, people call it like shark attack week. That shit is something. <laughs> it would be the most like uh, physically 
challenging part the most like because you're not used to this you got to remember you're not used to this at all like you're not used to being told what to do you're not used to being like um like working as a group and stuff like that that's gonna be your first introduction to bct actually like basic training so that's gonna be red phase right so there's phases throughout your whole basic training you got red white and blue phase so that means you're in red phase once you actually get to your uh, company they put you in platoons and stuff like that if you want to know more about that let me know again so the drill sergeants are basically like at that point they're not they're not cool with you nothing they're not your homie they're not your friend like you can't say shit, you can't do shit. What they're really trying to do is take that civilian mindset from you, right? People come in with attitudes. They're, they're trying to break you down, basically. They're trying to break you down and build you back up. The first 48 hours is like one of the worst. Cause you don't get, you don't really get a lot of sleep. You eat fast as hell. And it's just a change. It's like a complete 360 change from what you've been used to doing, right? So for us, after ref phase, we had HBO. And if y'all don't know what it is, it's holiday block. My basic training started from November to February. And we're in March, we're in March now. Around December, that's holiday, you know, everything shuts down. The whole government shuts down and stuff like that. So um, they give you two weeks off. I heard that like before back in the days, they never used to do that, but now they do. And like, if you do take that two weeks, it's gonna like, count against you as your like um, holiday leave system it's a whole point system and stuff like that let me know if you want me to make a video on that my basic training was really 12 weeks when you think about it right we went we went we did a whole bunch of stuff I'm not even gonna say because I'm gonna make another video on that right and y'all gonna watch that video right all right cool All right, so just to give you guys a little guidance as to what white face really is, I'm gonna let my buddy um, Lowry do the, the talking. But basically, white face is known as the rifle marching shoot phase. Um, this is basically where you get you get qualified for your weapons. You develop your skills um, as far as shooting and everything like that. And that's the full two weeks. You're going to the range every single day, constantly. But here's Lowry. He's about to explain it. My name's uh, Lowry. I came from Fort Benning, Georgia. Motherfucker! Um, you want to know about Whiteface? Right, right yeah, Whiteface. You went, you went to the uh, rifle range every day, right? Right. Um, the range? Right. Range. My, fir my first time, I shot I shot Expert on my first. <laughs> off my first rifle. Bro. What's the requirements? Requirements for uh, Expert? Yeah. It was 36 or above. I got at least 36 out of 40 shots <laughs> to get Expert. I, I remember after I shot Expert, there's so few that shot experts, so the mm -hmm. reward is we got shot, shoot the, um, the, the 240 the saw, is that what it's called? Yeah, the big, it's like a big gun. It was so fun, I shot like, I shot like, I don't know how many bullets in like 10 seconds. It, fe it, felt, like, it felt like a minute. Mm -hmm. but like it was just a big gun, you're and you're supposed to shoot it from, from left to right, from down to up. Right. When you shoot this gun. Interesting things that happen in basic, um, or like in white face, at a rifle range, it was like pretty much stupid people <laughs> and things like you know you know when you walk down a rifle range you're supposed to have your rifle down range mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so you have one kid had it the other way drill sergeant just got done fussing him out but drill sergeant can sometimes be such a drill sergeant mode he doesn't know what's going on around him so he sees the next person he actually had his rifle rifle down range but Drill sergeant, in drill sergeant mode, don't know what's going on. Say so picks, picks up the kid and just shakes him. Oh my God, that that <laughs> happened to me. Like I was that kid. Yeah, he picked him up and shakes oh, like, shit. which way your rifle was supposed to be, soldier? It's like I have it down range, drill sergeant. <laughs> and you, I'm standing there trying not to laugh because mm -hmm. if I laugh, then they're gonna look at me. And you so I just like, so I just like put my head down, kept walking and giggling. <laughs> Blue phase, I would say it, it's hard, but it's not as hard because um, after the forge, after that last week, you're basically getting right into graduation. The objective for blue phase is basically you're compiling everything that you've learned all the way from RM to working as a team to pugil sticks to combatives. 
your TCCC contacting radios and stuff like that. You're gonna take them all together and basically go on one final mission, the last mission that you'll have to go through. You're gonna be staying out in the field for about a week. It's like five, yeah, five days, so it's gonna be for a week. And um, basically they hit you, they hit you with incoming signals, how to work with like land nav, how to work with um, your team just basically to uh, complete the task or the mission at, at hand. Because at the end of the day, if you do get deployed or anything like that, that that's what you will be doing. So you have to kind of learn how to you know work as a team and get the mission completed. Graduation week, you're just really getting ready to graduate. Um, and along this process, some people may have fall, fallen out just because they weren't able to um, like keep up physically. Some people got injured, some people um, had to go to sick call for different reasons and stuff. So it's like, it's still a majority of the people out of the whole battery of platoon that will be graduating. Well, I'm gonna wrap up this video right here some other things that i didn't get to actually really speak about um that might have been important i'm gonna speak about in a new video so make sure that you hit the notification bell so you notify every time that i speak because i'm that i you know post a video but i'm gonna be talking about like acfp scores um if you don't know what that is stay tuned i'm gonna be talking about like how we do cadences drills and ceremony um what a platoon guy is what a platoon is what a company is, what a battery is, um, and just a whole bunch of more things in store. Just random knowledge that I now know that I can share with y'all. <laughs> All right, guys, and that concludes the video. Um, a little some some things that I want to tell you guys is make sure you're doing what you're supposed to at basic training. Um, make sure you're at the right place at the right time and in the right uniform. That's one of the core values of the, um, the army. They take that shit. Or you don't want to get any counselings or anything like that during basic or AIT. I can make a couple of story times because that has actually happened to me. Um, but yeah, make sure you, graduation should be your only goal during basic. Um, get through graduation. Get your scores, ACFT scores. Um, get your certificate. Um, you're going to do um, drills and ceremony and stuff like that. Just make sure your goal should be making it to AIT. AIT. If you guys like that video, make sure you comment and subscribe to this channel because I will be posting a whole bunch of other videos ever since they let me get out of that cage, which was a, uh, which was basic. Um, I will be make, posting probably once a week, so make sure you guys go ahead and subscribe. And it's your boy CJ Musu, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.